in the lands of Zaran. The humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. For a thousand years, the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the Drow Elf armies continue their attacks. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war soon change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid, before the Drow Elves can manipulate his man and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick, controls the universe. Well, I think that's everything. We did it, hun. we We're really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think it will be better for... him? They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. Sweetie, hun, you all dressed? Hey, champ. How do you like your new room? I know it's a big change for all of us, but, son, do you remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's good. That's good he doesn't remember. Uh, sweetie, we want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Right. Get outside and play, son. Like, like normal kids. We've got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just be back before it gets dark. Yeah, we love you too. You shall die by my warhammer, Drow Elf. Uh-uh, I banish thee to the forest realm. No way, I banish you first. Aha, you can't hold out much longer. Help, somebody, I can't hold out much longer. Help! Hey, no fair, that's cheating. I'm gonna tell my mom. Thanks, kid. I didn't realize he had a health potion. My name is Butters the Merciful. I'm a paladin. I live right next door to you. We should be friends. The Grand Wizard! So, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by a Coldwell Banker. I am the Wizard King. But the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. Oh, who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Not now. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. And here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kinney wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. You may have heard of my deeds at the Battle of Stark's Pod. My loyalty is as incurable as my diabetes. The power of diabetes is both a gift and a curse, but mostly a curse. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. 
It's time for your first quest. But first, please tell us thy name. You entered Douchebag, is that correct? Are you sure you want to keep the name Douchebag? Very well, Douchebag. You will now choose a class. Fighter, Mage, Thief, or Jew. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. A white fighter? Haven't seen a good one of those in a while. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. A white thief? Never heard of one, but interesting. Jew, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. We welcome to our kingdom, Douchebag the Mage. Hooray! Now please, go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fight. I'm gonna kick your ass. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. That's lame. No, Clyde, it's like olden times. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. I know it's lame, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. All right, douchebag, bash Clyde's face in. Don't be shy. That all you got? Oh my God, it's butters all over again. Okay, look, try putting your back into it at the last possible moment. Oh! Oh, hell yeah, Clyde's your bitch. All right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. Ugh. Oh shit, dude, I think I see blood. Fucking nice, bro. It's exactly what you do to guys with armor like that. Okay, listen up. The key to surviving in battle is not to get hit in the bows. Clyde, it's your turn to attack. Douchebag, protect your bows. Prepare yourself. Yeah! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Dude, you're already way better than Clyde. All right, it's time to use your heroic powers. Using your ability takes power points, or PP for short. <laughs> PP. <laughs> if you have a fucking better name for them, then fucking say it, Clyde! Fucking asshole! I'm the king, and I say it's PP! Douchebag, use your mage ability to make Clyde pay for insulting the king. Dick. I dodged that. Dude, that was pretty lame. Try it again, dude. Oh! Douchebag, that's not your heroic ability. Get serious. Ah! Ugh. Way to wipe that smile off his stupid face, douchebag. Now do it one more time. Finish him! What? I was going easy. Take this! Ugh. Didn't count. You were all like, bam, and Clyde was all like, nah, nah. <laughs> okay, okay, you prove yourself worthy, douchebag. Now come inside the war tent and I shall let you see the relic. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The Stick of Truth. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick, controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long, for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the stick of truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs $9.95 for the first week, $4 of which is tax deductible. Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! 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 What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive positions! Man the gate! Don't let them through! Give us the stick, humans! Fuck you, Drow Elf! Come and get it! Clyde, guard the stick of truth while we defend the fortress! Aye, aye! Aye, aye! We're not playing pirates, Clyde! Douchebag, 
this is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs! Bye, Bye. you asshole! Ah. Ow! Drow elves, fall back! Fall back, I say! Yes! Awesome, dude! Take that, you asshole elves! Better luck next time! Na 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 na! We still control the universe! <laughs> it's gone. What? The stick of truth. The elves got it. That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! Clyde? You are hereby banished from space and time! What? No! You can't do that! Yeah, I can! You're banished and lost in time and space! Yeah! Go home, Clyde! You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, this dude can make me a douchebag, but he sure can't fight! Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you think. Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The stick of truth has been stolen. And we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king. Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go, and send my warriors here. Fighters, go with him. Guess I'm minding yourself now. You need any weapons or armor? Welcome to Tweet Coffee. Coffee made with ingredients supplied by local organic suppliers. It's local coffee, brewed locally. Tweak? Tweak! <laughs> Have you picked up the fresh local ingredients? Uh, not yet, Dad. I'm still trying to do all my chores. Well, hurry up, son. The family business is relying on you. Uh. What's this? Uh, now? The guy's thinking now? Oh, there's no way, man. It's way too much to do. How am I supposed to do all this? Wait, you. Could you go get the four o'clock delivery for me? If you do, I can finish here and then, and then I'll still have time to play. Please, would you? It's at Kenny's house, like always. Y you give them this, they'll give you the delivery. This is a gated community, sir. We do not allow in the riffraff. If you try again, I will pepper spray you back to the Stone Age. I warn you, sir. What the fuck? Oh, no! Move along. I think I just found a new bottom bitch. Yeah? Can I help you? What's this? Oh, the elves took the stick again? Hang on a second. Thank you for thy message, traveler. I shall make haste to Koopa Keep. Mom, can you drive me to Eric's house? Where's today's delivery? Right here! Hmm, yep, that's good shit. All right, Tweak, you can play for a little bit. But be home before dark or you'll be grounded. Grounded, like the fresh grinds of our all-organic Tweak blend, made with ingredients from local tweakers. Thanks, kid. I gotta go get changed and then I'll meet you at the kingdom. Well, soldiers reporting for duty, Grand Wizard. Nice work, douchebag. Now all my men are here and ready to fight for the... Wait a minute. Where's Feldspar? Where's my level 12 thief? Uh, hey, yeah, where's Craig? He's in detention. What? He flipped off the principal, so he's in detention again. Oh, my God. If they've locked away our thief in detention, we have no hope of getting back the stick of truth. We have to break him out. Ah, no way, man. Last time we broke Craig out of detention, we all got in trouble. Getting into trouble is a risk that Douchebag is willing to take. You have to break out our thief, Douchebag. But don't worry, I will not let you go unprepared. I'm going to teach you how to use magic. 
Meet me at the training barracks. It's time for you to learn. Dragon Shout. You fight well, douchebag. But to truly succeed in combat, you must learn to harness the power of your fight. Farting on an opponent at precisely the right time is key to battle. I shall show you how it's done, but first, you must take the gentleman's oath. You must promise to never, ever fart on anyone's bows, okay? Farting on an opponent is necessary, but farting on someone's bows is not cool. Do you understand? All right, then let's begin your training. To conjure dragon shouts, you must first clear your mind and take in a deep breath through your butthole. Like so. Huh? Then, let it rumble inside you, and... Dragon shout! I'll show you one more time. Suck it in. Let it rumble. Dragon shout! Now you. Ready? Dragon shout! No, no, that was like a dragon peep. You gotta let it all out. It's a mighty roar! I'll show you one more time. Suck it in. Let it rumble. Dragon shout! Now you. Ready? Dragon shout! Find the frequency. Hold. Hold. My god, that was incredible. A man could live a hundred years and never again witness a spell so boisterous. Could it be that the prophecies are true? Could it be that the dragonborn has come at last in our hour of need? Now let us try your skill on a real opponent. Hey, hey, Princess Kenny. <laughs> Could you come here a sec? <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. Okay, just real quick, Princess Kenny. Sir Douchebag wants to show you something. All right, you two. Spar! Sir Douchebag, show Princess Kenny the magical powers I have taught you. Douchebag, that was sweet. Thanks, Princess Kenny. That's all for now. Thank you, asshole. <laughs> okay, okay, but dude, seriously, remember, don't ever do that on someone's balls. Okay, seriously. You have mastered dragon shafts. From now on, it will be easier for you. <laughs> Craig, Craig, this is detention. Okay, stop looking at your watch because you're here for three hours, buddy. Okay. Whatever. Now, don't think your friends are gonna come bust you out this time, Craig. My name is Feldspar, and I'm a level six thief, and the humans will soon rescue me from this tower. No, your name is fucking Craig Tucker, and you're in detention. Now, start doing your homework. Okay, I've got all the doors sealed, and I've got hallway monitors working overtime. Nobody's gonna save your ass today, Craig, okay? Excuse me, but school is out, and no students allowed on the premises until tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Repeat, officer down. All hallway monitors to the right hallway. Oh, god damn it. Here they come. They're gonna get you, Craig. You're not getting out of detention. I'll be out of here in ten minutes. Oh, wow. Boobies. Must have. Must touch boobies. More officers down. We're taking heavy casualties out here. Damn it, you hallway monitors need to stop playing around. He's got the brass key. He's some kind of dragonborn. Now look, this is detention time. Not time to play Dungeons and Dragons. And besides, he's never going to get inside here because to open the door you need the gold key and the only way to get the gold key is by getting the silver key. Okay, which even if he has the brass key, he still hasn't made it past the boss level. Okay. That's far enough, intruder. Where's your hall pass? No hall pass? Then it's time to write you a referral. Oh yeah! That's the boss. Good luck fighting the boss, okay? You still think this is a game, young man? Deadly fourth is authorized. Arr! I 
wasn't worthy of the sack. Well, that's what you get for being mean to people. Damn you, Craig! Thanks for busting me out, kid. Who are you? What's your name? Oh well, I'm heading to Koopa Keep. See you there, I guess. Gentlemen, thanks to the new kid, our entire army is assembled. It is my belief that the new kid deserves to rank up in level. To honor his efforts, he will no longer be called Douchebag. New kid, I hereby dub thee Sir Douchebag. Congratulations. It is time for us to take back that which is rightfully ours. A carrier raven has come with news that the Stick of Truth has not yet been taken to the Elven Forest. It is in the possession of the Bard. <gasps> the Bard? Uh, oh God, not the Bard! The Bard is a level 10 drow elf who can use magic to enchant and destroy his enemies. I'm going to teach you how to use a ranged magic attack. It's not easy, but being able to cup a spell from a distance can save you in battle. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> Yeah! Let me show you one more time. Watch closely. Yeah! You see how it works? Now you try. Way back from where you're standing. Cut the magic, throw it at your opponent. No, 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 you gotta fill your hand all the way. Remember, hope in one hand and fart in the other, and you will have a potent weapon in one of your hands. Let me show you one more time. Watch closely. <laughs> yeah! You see how it works? Now you try. Way back from where you're standing. Cup the magic and throw it at your opponent. <laughs> yes, yes! But now let us see how you fare against a real opponent. Hey, hey, Malkinson. Malkinson, could you come help us with something? <laughs> Shh, don't have to tell. It's gonna be sweet. Yes? Uh, hey, Scott, could you um spar with Douchebag real quick? He's gonna try a new move. On guard! Now, Douchebag, come and spell! <laughs> no, no, that's not it. Try again. Right, Scott's face! <laughs> Alright, Scott, go back to your post. Thank you. <laughs> Use it wisely in battle, douchebag. And never on a man's boss. If the carrier ravens are correct, the bard is hiding out at the inn of the giggling donkey. We must find him before he's able to take the stick back to the oven forest. Let us find the bard and bring him to justice! Make haste to the giggling donkey! There it is. The Inn of the Giggling Donkey. Paladin, are you sure the bard is hiding out in there? That's what Twitter says. Carrier Raven, Butters! Oh, sorry, sorry, that's what the Carrier Raven says. Craig and Token, guard the back door. Butters, Kenny, Sir Douchebag, let's go inside. Stay close, Sir Douchebag. The Inn of the Giggling Donkey harbors the scum of Alzaron. A glass of meadle wine, please. No meadle wine today, only fairy ale. A pint of fairy ale, then. So, has, uh, anyone seen the bard lately? <coughs> a cup of fairy ale isn't much if not accompanied by some bardic poems and songs. Sure, he's here, all right. He's got a room down in the cellar. Ah, and I shall pay handsomely for his services. Sir Douchebag? Butters, Douchebag, go down and flush him out. Princess Kinney and I will be waiting here to murder him. Remember, the bard can use songs to enchant. Don't let him get to you. You think the bard's really down here? <gasps> oh, Jesus! It's the bard! Prepare for battle, weaklings. Elves, fall in! Douchebag! It's a trap! 
You should have never come here, you humans. I am a level 10 bard, and with my loot, I shall power up my elven guards with magical songs of enchantment. With magical songs of enchantment. With magical songs of enchantment. Mag magical songs of enchantment. Me, me. With magical songs of enchantment. Mag magical songs of enchantment. Me, me. With magical songs of enchantment. Mag magical songs of enchantment. Me, me. With magical songs of enchantment. Mag magical songs of enchantment. Me, me. With magical songs of enchantment. Mag magical songs of enchantment. Me, me. With magical songs of enchantment. Mag magical songs of enchantment. Me, me. Magical songs of enchantment. Get down there and finish them off. I will protect the stick of truth. Ah, shit. Your word is the command, my lord. Shall I heal the king, my lord? Or maybe the... <coughs> His powers were too strong. The bard, he's up in one of the rooms. <coughs> they took Princess Keeney. They took her upstairs. I'm sure they're going to rape her. Don't let them rape Princess Keeney. Nah. <coughs> Wizard King is done for! Take out the new kid while I go upstairs and make contact with the King of Hell! Where's the King? He's over there. He's hurt bad. Good thing my medicine skills are plus four. We'll revive the wizard. You guys get upstairs. I know you want to get the most out of this game, but our friend is getting raped. <laughs> we gotta get to the princess! He's keeping a prisoner! Princess Kinney, how badly did they rape you? I can't get through. The door appears to be enchanted, so I can't turn the knob. You can't hold the doorknob, Bard. That's cheating. Yeah, I can. I have the stick of truth, which means I control the universe, and I say holding the doorknob is okay. Ah, can he do that? He has the stick of truth. He can do what he wants. Damn it! There's got to be another way into this room. Hey, let us up! You're not getting up here. The ladder's up here with me, and I'm sure as shit not coming down there. Well, looky what we got here. I'm coming for you, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are some big old bitties. Man, oh, man. Oof. Good job, Princess Gone Wild. Double D buddy powers. You've nowhere to run, Bard. Give me the stick of truth. Take it from me if you can, Wizard King. Step forward now and fulfill your de de And fulfill your de, de, de Step forward now and fulfill your de Step forward now and fulfill your de de Your de Your de, de, de Step forward now and fulfill your de de Your de Your de, de, de Step forward now and fulfill your de de Step forward now and fulfill your destiny. You are no match for a Grand Wizard! The stick belongs with us, and I shall use every bardic power in my class to keep it from you! Fine! You wanna throw down, brah? Kick his ass, douchebag! Who is douchebag? That's Sir Douchebag to you, and he's about to teach you some manners, bard! Great job, men. Douchebag, for your heroic deeds and valiant self-sacrifice at the great battle of the Giggling Donkey, 
I hereby make you an official member of the Kingdom of Koopa Keep. Welcome to the KKK. It's getting late. The Grand Wizard needs to go night-night. Okay, Mom, thanks for pointing out bedtime for everyone. It's a school night, hon. You and your little druid friends need to- We're not druids, Mom! We're fucking warriors and wizards! Oh, that's it. You're going to bed. The rest of you better get home, too. There you are! We've been looking all over for you. Do you know how late it is? You are grounded. Now I want you to go to bed and think about what you've done. Good night, little man. I hope you're as happy as we are. Everything is going to be better now that we're in this quiet little mountain town. Is this your first time getting probed? Yeah, it's a pain, but this is the kind of stuff you put up with living in a remote little mountain town. At least we don't have to deal with traffic. Hey, you broke free! Kid, you have an incredible control of your asshole. Get me loose, too! Saturday night, feeling all right, feeling okay. Great, you made it! Okay, use this panel here and we can all go home. Thanks, kid. I don't know who you are or if you're real, but consider me your friend. Until we meet again! Yes? At what location? How many people in the town? Get in there and cover it up. This could change everything. Get everyone moving. We've got another UFO crash.
Didn't you hear about it? It's all over the news. Here, look. And that a large earthquake and several fires in the South Park area last night woke many residents from their sleep. Here with the report is a midget in a bikini. Tom, government workers here are assuring everyone nothing out of the ordinary has happened. They claim that the only reason huge tents have gone up to cover this area is to mask the construction of a new Taco Bell, which will open sometime later this month. Thanks, Midget. I do love me some Taco Bell. The mayor of South Park states that last night's tremors and fires are under control and that hopefully schools and businesses can open again soon. It's horrible. You don't understand. The elves, they took the stick. And it's bullshit because that is totally cheating. We specifically said no trying to take the stick at night. Elves are dirty little liars, and we have to lay waste to their entire base! You have some incredible ability to make friends quickly, Sir Douchebag. I'm sending you on a quest to go out into the lands of Zaron and recruit a whole nother faction to Koopa Keep. Find the goth kids and give them this letter. Get them to join our kingdom and we shall lay waste to the drow elves once and for all! Fucking cheaters. Who's that? I think it's that new kid people are talking about. Beat it, new kid. This area is strictly for goth kids. What's this? Join the kingdom of Koopa Keep to battle the wicked elves. All recruits welcome. Sorry, Frodo. We don't play Dungeons and Douchebags. Yeah, beat it, new kid. Oh, come on. Let's do it. We never do anything. No way. We can't do what this kid asks us to do. He's a conformist. Look at his clothes and his hair. Yeah, I'll tell you what, new kid. Get the right clothes and some cigarettes and coffee and then talk to us again. Yeah, if you want to prove you aren't a conformist, then you need to look exactly like we do. Then maybe we'll consider hanging out with you. Last cigarette, you guys got more? Yeah. yeah. Get lost, kid, we're trying to smoke here. Take your stupid hair and leave. Take your stupid hair and leave. Ow! We are all dying from the moment we are born. Go conform somewhere else, kid. If you're looking for smokes, the sixth graders are always hanging up. You think that's all it means to be goth? You don't even have coffee. Which of our local coffees would you like to try? Hey, there he is. New kid. New kid. The Elf King has requested your presence. You can either come quietly or you can fight. But I warn you, fighting this fight at this point in the game is a complete waste of time, and you might as well skip it and just come with us. There is no way you can win, and fighting us will be a complete waste of time. Are you sure you want to fight? <sighs> okay, let's get this over with. We're still doing this, right? <laughs> we tried to warn you it was useless, but you just had to go and try and fight. Let's go. everyone is talking about. What's your name? He doesn't talk, Elf King. He thinks he's hot shit or something. You're playing for the wrong side, dude. What did Wizard Fatass tell you? That we broke the rules and took the stick last night? He's lying. Cartman is the one you should be fighting against. He's hiding the stick, which is cheating, and acting all betrayed and sad to get you to recruit more people for him. We tracked a Twitter raven who says you are currently trying to recruit the Goths for the Wizard. Go recruit them, but bring them to us. 
Then we can ransack Carbon's stupid kingdom and get the stick back once and for all. I'm trusting you to do what's right. And kid, if you betray us, we'll tell everyone you're a butthole. I am sending our best ranger to help guide you. The bard is also at your disposal now. Our king may trust you, but that doesn't mean I have to. All is lost. My contacts, my maps, my friends list, all taken from me by the She-Ogre. She has no soul. You will help me battle the She-Ogre and reclaim my iPhone? Perhaps you are one to be trusted. Very well. Let us end this. You know what every good bot should have? A flute. If I had a flute, I could play fantastic melodies. If I only had a flute, my Facebook says the rancher might be selling one. You know where the ranch is? I'd love to see if I could buy that flute. Nothing can prepare you for this battle. If I die, tell the guys I fought bravely. Down on that side is where my parents sleep, and across from that is the cave of the She-Ogre. Give me back my iPhone, demon! You little turd! I've brought help! Let's see you try and take us both! Arrgh! Your days are numbered, She-Ogre! What's your problem? <laughs> what, that's it? Come on, let's do this. No way, dude. Yeah. Mess with the beast, you get the claws. Take mine iPhone again, and I shall bring justice swifter yet. Get out of my room, turd! I bow to you, Ogre Slayer. I'm glad to call you friend. Oh, what sad times these are when the nation's youth run around in dungeon clothes playing the games of Satan. Young man, if you really want power, there's only one thing you must do. Find Jesus. Find him, and when you do, return to me. Give it back! Give it back! Why don't you make us? That's my Justin Bieber toy. Not anymore, it's not. Aw, oh, did Baby lose her toy? Come on, you guys! Who is this? Be a kid if you know it's good for you. <laughs> Howdy ho! Gosh, thanks for coming to 
to visit, but here, every day is Christmas. So when I say howdy ho, you gotta say, howdy ho, Mr. Hanky. Give it a try. Guess they let anybody down in the sewers these days. Who's at the door? Is that the guy with my pills? No, it's not anyone with pills for you, darling, okay? I called that motherfucker three hours ago! This is my lovely wife, Autumn. She celebrates Christmas with vodka and muscle relaxers. And here, every day is Christmas. Wait, where the fuck are my kids? What do you mean, where are the kids? You're supposed to be watching them out back, Autumn. No! They were being watched by the babysitter! The babysitter quit four months ago when you threw up on her! Don't you fucking yell at me! Don't you excuse us a minute! Don't you ever make me promise things you like that! You don't! You don't got them! And you don't know where you can go! Fuck you to your kids too, you piece of shit! You fuck you, I'll fuck you! Howdy ho! Uh, listen, I gotta get my wife some help! <laughs> Could you go look for our children? I sure would make it worth your while. They're Simon, Amber, and Cornwallis. Tell them their father wants them home right away. My baby! <laughs> Bring me my baby! <laughs> You're a fucking train wreck! You put that bass down! Thanks, mister. I wish I had a safe and warm environment in which to thrive, but I don't, so I guess I'll go home. Mister, I was afraid those rats were gonna get me and I was gonna end up a floater. Thanks, kid. My drunk ass mom sent me to get more eggnog and I got lost. See ya. Howdy ho! Thanks for finding my kids. Thank the nice man nuggets. Thank you. Anytime you need my help, you just call on me and I'll be there sure as a shit on Sunday. Except against bosses, of course. I might have shit for brains, but I'm not stupid. And I can't help you more than once per day. Just like I can't help anyone who won't help themselves with rehab. And K, you are oh, please. logging clerks. What goth kid me. walks around in those clothes? Oh, Joy, it's Butthole the Barbarian from the Dungeons of Dumbass. You gotta admit, he looks better. Yeah, he's almost a goth. Being goth isn't just how you dress, it's a frame of mind. It's time for you to prove that you go against society's rules. Yeah. There's a big PTA meeting happening right now at the community center. You need to walk right into the middle of that meeting and take this sign to their table. Yeah, that will prove your individuality. Go on, beat it. And don't come back until you have a picture of that sign taped to the PTA table. Uh, yeah, have fun in there. I think I'll wait it out. It isn't right, I tell you. Out of nowhere, this huge Taco Bell is being built, and now our children are missing precious school time. Parents, we've been assured by the builders that they're working to fix whatever problems they've encountered, and school should be able to resume soon. Resume soon? Who do they think they are? They think we're gonna see a, a Taco Bell as being more important than our kids' educations? What if it's not really a Taco Bell we're dealing with? Thanks for coming, new kid. Everyone, this is the kid whose family just moved to town. We've become very close friends. His name is... what's your name? Well, anyway, this child and I witnessed something last night, and I'd like you to hear his story. Go ahead, kid. Tell them, you know, about all the... Go ahead, tell them, tell them that stuff. This is a waste of everyone's time. If the PTA isn't going to do something about Taco Bell taking over, then the rest of us parents will! Come, Come on! Come on! Come on! Fuck the conformists. Why are they a good lay? Fuck the conformists. Why are they a good lay? This is 
a PTA meeting, young man. Be on your way. I used to have a bad hoarding problem, okay, but I got past it. Now I can just throw things away. Would you mind throwing this away for me? I just need it thrown away somewhere very specific. I'll show you on your map. Okay, thanks. I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your asshole. Look, I know how you're feeling, okay? But this isn't gonna solve anything. We've got to get inside that Taco Bell and find out what's really going on. Help me with that and I'll help you with this. I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your farts. Meet me in the bathroom. It's time for you to learn some real power. I can tell you have potential, but you are undisciplined. Let me show you what I mean. Come at me. Try and fart on me. Come on. Kia! You call that farting on someone? You missed by a mile. Try again. Hi, Cha! See that? Your fart's over there somewhere. Didn't come close. So, what do you do when people can block your farts? You must learn to control your farts to move and release at a specific time and place. I'm going to teach you a fart called the Sneaky Squeaker. It will become your greatest ally. Don't believe me? Try and block my attack. You see that? I distracted you. Distracting your opponents is key to battle. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. Undisciplined. Even a child could block that fart. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, Mr. Mackey. Now it's your turn. Use Sneaky Squeaker to distract Mr. Mackey over to the corner there. Hey, did you guys hear that? Sounded like a chipmunk. Kia! Very, very good. Now use what I taught you to sneak inside that Taco Bell. Find out what they're up to and report back here. And no matter what happens, never fart on anyone's balls. You got that? All right, now go. Folks, there's nothing to be concerned with here. Absolutely nothing out of the ordinary is going on. We're simply getting ready for the grand opening of a new Taco Bell. New Taco Bell opening soon. Very big Taco Bell. It's gonna open in a few weeks. Thank you. Uh, will this Taco Bell be serving in Chiritos? What? Well, is it gonna be a full menu Taco Bell or is this gonna be one of those Taco Bell KFC combos? We got a guy out here asking a lot of questions. Just stick to the script as laid out in the protocol. But he wants to know if the Taco Bell will have Inchiritos or not, sir. Damn it, we don't have a contingency for that. Michaels, isolate and neutralize the threat. Yes, sir. Look, it's a simple question. If this is going to be a huge Taco Bell, will it serve Inchiritos? I think we have a right to know. Mark? Folks, we know you're all very excited, but for your safety, we ask you stay clear of the construction site. Mark? It sounded like a clown horn filled with prune juice. Sound up, 
Sergeant. I think someone's testing Tupperware. But so far, we've been unable to stop the UFO from leaking the toxic waste. We've contained all we can, but there are no guarantees an outbreak will not occur. And does the alien liquid appear to have the same effect as last time? I'm afraid so. When the alien waste reacts with organic material on Earth, it turns things into... Nazi zombies. <laughs> Here we go again. God damn it. I'm so tired of Nazi zombies. It's so overused. If the wrong person gets their hands on that green toxin, it could totally spread it. We have a big problem. All right, we're gonna have to completely obliterate everything in a three block radius. Find locations for the bombs and bury it all. Then make up a fake story about an earthquake. We can contain the outbreak this time if we act quickly enough. Let's move. Everything we've just talked about has been recorded onto this tape. I'm going to leave it alone here for a few minutes, then come back later and have it encrypted and locked away so nobody ever hears what was said in this meeting. Yes, good idea. What the fuck? It's broken free! He needs to have your roof it on! Ah! Well, here we go again. For every school! What's this? It's a recording. There's data on here. Did they say anything? What kind of Taco Bell is it going to be? When are they going to be finished building it? Shh, shh. <laughs> All right. We're going to have to completely obliterate everything in a three block radius. What? Set charges <laughs> underground to blow up the area and bury it all. Then make a fake story about an earthquake. They're going to just blow up three blocks? Sons of bitches. You sons of bitches! What gives them the right? I knew there was more to this. It's not a simple Taco Bell we're dealing with. It's the most massive Taco Bell ever built. You see, ever since the whole Doritos Locos Tacos thing, Taco Bell thinks they can do whatever they want. Well, not here. Not in our town. You've done well, new kid. We're not going to let Taco Bell win. I'll take that picture you wanted now of you with the PTA. Nice. I'll send it to you. Whoa, he did it. Nice. Yeah, but he's still not goth. He'll have to pass the final test. You may look goth, Frodo, but can you dance goth? Less enthusiasm? Totally fucking bullshit. Not how you drink coffee. 
You call that smoking? I'm feeling the rage. I like what you did with your coffee there. Well, after the combo. What do you think? He's pretty goth. He's pretty goth, right? Yeah, that was pretty good. I felt his pain. All right, new kid, you've officially proven yourself. Yeah, just tell us where you need us and we'll be there. We're gonna go to the graveyard later and dwell on our own mortality if you wanna come. Ah, you have returned! Come, Sir Douchebag. It is time to summon our forces. Simply call them here and your dedication to Koopa Keep will be complete. Climb the signal tower, Sir Douchebag. Call forth your new recruits. Everyone gather round! While the rest of you have been picking your respective arses, Sir Douchebag has gone out and brought help to our kingdom. Sir Douchebag, it is time to finally give you a title worthy of your deeds. By the power of Mandaloth, thirdborn of the Red God, and by the glory of Christ, I hereby anoint thee Commander Douchebag, with all the rights and privileges accompanied therein. Eric! Eric! We know where the elves are hiding their stick! What? Really? We just intercepted their messages on Twitter! You mean you shot down their message, Raven? Right, we, we shot down their raven, and the evil elf king is, is hidden a stick inside his desk at school. Of course. Kyle hid it in his desk. Citizens of Koopa Keep, we know where the elves are hiding the stick. I told you they were cheating. Now we shall march on the skew and make the hallways drip with elven blood. Huzzah! Defenders of freedom! I thank you for your courage and your audacities in joining our fight. Tonight, we are no longer the humans or the goths. Tonight, we unite as one. I feel like such a homo sapien right now. The humans are here! Ooh, they blew their horn. Blow ours, butters. Guys, flank left. Goth kids, prepare to attack from behind. Stay back, you guys! Something is seriously wrong with the hallway monitors! Help, please! That's Gary Nelson! Don't touch him, he's ginger! We came to school the morning after the earthquake to report for duty. <coughs> we didn't know school had been canceled. <laughs> we heard a sound from down here. Found this green goo, it, it was everywhere. It changed the other hallway monitors. <coughs> Serves you right for being a patsy-ass hallway monitor in the first place. Something in the goo, it, it... Did Ah! Uh, somehow that green goo makes ginger hallway monitors even lamer! Big head! Don't underestimate Kyle. He's killed me a Let's bunch go. of times. This is here. 
here, new kid. Let's see you handle both of us. Surrender and I will show you mercy. Oh no, 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 no! Got him! Ah! <laughs> I'll never use ah! it! Legendary Stan Marshwalker. Oh. Back away from the desk, Jew King. The stick doesn't belong with a fat, racist liar. All right, Cal, you fucking asked for it. Go ahead and kick his ass, douchebag. New kid, Carmen is using you. Can't you see it? He's a manipulator. You're just jealous because the new kid picked me as a friend over you, Cal. You've got one last chance, new kid. Turn around and fight Cartman instead. Do the right thing. Don't let him Jew wash your brain, new kid. Attack him! Now! Make him shut up! It's not me you should be fighting, it's him! So pick a side! Kick his ass, douchebag. I can't believe this is even a choice. You're too good a person to be working for Cartman. Don't listen to them, douchebag. No, you aren't. What are you waiting for? Kill the wizard. Oh, fine. You're gonna be sorry, new kid. Get out of my way or I'll kick your ass. <laughs> You're staying planted. You suck. Okay, I kick the baby. his desk. Victory is ours! Hey, wait a minute. Our desks don't have insides. What? Desks at this school just have tabletops. No, but, but Twitter said... That... Look over here. This desk has writing on it. Check my locker. Whose desk is that? That's... That's Clyde's desk. Humans and drow elves of Zaron. Clyde, he took the stick. While you've all been busy fighting amongst yourselves, I have built a kingdom beyond your comprehension. I prayed for a way to destroy you all, and the solution came crashing down from the heavens. Oh no, it's more of that green stuff. With what I have found, I shall raise an army of the dead. I shall raise an entire army of darkness and kill the Earth! Clyde, but why? I banished him to be lost in space and time, and now he's all pissed off. So you see, fools, I control the stick and the future of the Earth! Clyde, do you want a sandwich? Not now, Dad. I'm making a Ruler of Darkness video.
Whoever controls the stick controls the universe. And my first deed is that I hereby denounce the human and the elf kingdoms and strip both kings of all their power. <laughs> Motherfucker! Oh, hello, boys. Can we speak to Clyde, please? Oh, Clyde's out playing in the backyard with his little friends. Come and get it, losers! <laughs> you can't do that, Clyde! You're lost in time and space! No, I'm not! Yeah, you are, asshole! Army of Darkness, defend the fortress! Craig, you're on my side! You don't have authority anymore. The Keeper of the Stick said so. This can't be happening! God damn it, I have fucking authority! Sorry, warriors and wizards. I'd love to invite you into my Fortress of Darkness, but I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? What do you mean we're too late? There you are, butters! Do you know what time it is, mister? It is way past your bedtime! Oh shit, it's past our bedtime? Dude, I'm gonna get it! <laughs> Clyde, it's past your bedtime! <laughs> okay, coming, Dad! <laughs> well, hello, hello! You missed the news! Looks like we're gonna have the country's largest Taco Bell in our new town. Mommy and Daddy spied on your Facebook page and saw that you're making lots of friends. Why don't you tell us about them? No? Okay, well, it's late, sweetie. Head on up to bed, and I'll be there to tuck you in. Good night, my little gumdrop. Hope you're enjoying all the peace and quiet in our new home as much as we are. Sometimes feel like we should tell him the truth. Why? So we can relive it all in his head? It's better that he can't remember. But if he really has this gift, he, he's going to discover it again on his own anyway. And then they'll try and use him for his gift and he'll become a weapon. They won't stop looking for him. We have to keep everything secret, even from him. I'm so frazzled. Will you just make love to me? Of course I will, darling. <sighs> 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 Oh. <laughs> 
A great evil has descended upon us. After researching last night, I believe we are facing a threat to our entire world. Clyde's Fortress of Darkness is over four stories tall. So far, he has recruited at least 50 warriors to be on his team, and he is... You have something to say, wizard? Uh, nothing. Just think it's kind of funny how drow elves in the Middle Ages can use PowerPoint. You guys, this is serious! Clyde is attempting to raise an army of darkness. I believe he is messing with something he cannot control. He has recruited many of our friends, and so our only hope is for our two factions to join forces. Fuck that. We do not team up with fucking elves. You got a better idea, wizard fat ass? After what you elves did us at the Battle of Wormsley Woods, you think we'll ever trust you? Yeah, you, you tell a butter. That, that was Jimmy's fault, and he apologized. Oh, oh, we're apologizing now. How about we apologize for breaking the rule about using arcane fire magic? Yeah. Hey, that was the human's rule, not ours. Join forces, my paladin ass. Only good elf is a dead elf. Why don't you suck my elven dick, Butters? Enough! Whether we are human or elf is not gonna matter one bit if all of Zaron is taken over by German zombies. We saw what that green stuff does. We better figure out a way to stop Clyde or there won't be a world to fight in. Even if we join forces, we don't have enough warriors. So we recruit more factions to join us. The pirates, the Federation, and the girls. The girls? Kyle, the girls are not gonna fucking play with us. Yeah, dude, we can't convince girls to do this. No, but maybe the new kid can. The new kid has a power we have yet to understand. He makes friends on Facebook faster than any we have seen. He is really good at getting Facebook friends. I'll give him that. Find a way to get the girls to side with us, Commander Douchebag. I'll deal with the other factions. The rest of you, return to your stations and prepare for war. Huzzah! What is this? The boys want us to play with them? I do owe you one. I can take you to the girls, but I don't think they'll be very willing to play with boys. Do you wish to speak to the girls now? The 412th meeting of the girls is hereby called to order. Sparkle, sparkle. Sunshine! Sunshine, sparkle. Millie Larson has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, I move that we vote immediately on the urgent matter involving Monica Ryland. Yes! Yeah, yeah, right 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 Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I have an urgent matter that I believe needs to be addressed first. The chair acknowledges Annie. Sunshine, sparkle. Annie Nitz has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, a messenger comes with a request from the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Oh. Yeah. What request do the boys ask of us? He doesn't really talk. That's hot. The boys are playing some new role-playing game, and the new kid here wants us to join his team. What? We don't have time for that. Something very big happened, and we must do something. I know. I thought maybe he could help. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, a motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Allie Nelson was spotted at the abortion clinic. I have never been to the abortion clinic. I'm not a whore. We aren't sure, but we think the girl spreading the rumors about Allie is Monica Ryland. And then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. So, we're going to send Monica a Facebook page with your picture. Then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood. And you want to meet her and ask her what the best thing to get Bebe for her birthday would be. And see if Monica tries to hit on you at all. Because that way, we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. Right. 
Do this task for us and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. Be on guard, douchebag. For the plots of girls have ends that no man can foresee. I gave butter to Sweet Swirly one time in that bathroom. Any means necessary, douchebag. Kill if you have to. Oh, hi. You must be Mike. So, you want to talk about Bebe, huh? Well, look, Bebe's my friend. I think she's really great. I, I don't know if she's the end-all, be-all of girls. I mean, she's a little two-faced, if you ask me. But, hey, I've read a lot of your Facebook profile, and I think you're a really interesting boy. Aha! We knew it! You two-faced manipulative whore! What the heck? Thank God we sent the new kid to spy on you, huh, girls? Yeah! Now we know you're a two-faced bitch! What do you mean? You guys are my best friends! Then why are you hitting on my Facebook boyfriend? We brought someone else who might be interested. Monica, what the fuck are you doing? Uh-oh. Hey, Jake. Have fun, you two-faced skank. Guys, wait, please, come back! What's the big idea trying to fuck my girlfriend? Nothing to say, huh? Well, maybe you'll understand that. Screw you guys, I'm beating the shit out of you. help. We can go see them again whenever you're ready. All right, then, let's go. You know the drill. New kid, we want to thank you for helping us determine whether or not Monica was a two-faced bitch. She really made us mad, but it turns out she couldn't have been the one spreading rumors about Allie Nelson going to the abortion clinic. Yeah, so we made up. You guys are the best. You see, the thing is, Heidi Turner was supposed to put on the Facebook page that you were Bebe's boyfriend, but she didn't. Because Heidi Turner is a two-faced bitch who says she likes me, then tries to stab me in the back. Right, so we need to know if Heidi Turner is the two-faced bitch who's spreading rumors about Allie being spotted at the abortion clinic. But in order to do that, we need people to think you're a girl. Makeover! Makeover! Keep up the good work. I'll have to borrow that. Love it! Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. That's to die for. You got curves for miles. Fashion emergency. Call an ambulance. This is going to be a project. I just screw up a little and not on purpose. Are you sure you want to wear that? You're as ready as you'll ever be, I guess. Let's get to the clinic. All right, new kid, get inside the abortion clinic and find the records room. Take a picture of all the records from the past week and text them to us. That will help us find out who the two-faced bitch is. I'm sure you can appreciate why none of us can do this. If any of us are spotted in there, people might think we're sluts like Jessica Rodriguez. Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse. Hi, Hi guys. Hi. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. Just finding out which of our friends is a two-faced bitch. Cool. We'll see you around. Awesome. Skank. All right, now go in there and get to the records room. Find out if Jesse had an abortion. Hi. 
I here for an abortion? It's okay, don't be scared. The first one's always the scariest. Take room A, second door to your left. I'm sorry. Your little friend will have to wait out here. All right, you take it from here, douchebag. Hi, I'm Dr. Poon Lover. Get on up in the chair and this won't take long at all. Hey, little young to be having an abortion, aren't we? It's okay, we have a booster seat. Access granted. Thank you, Doctor. Ah! Ah, damn it! Oh, it's you! Thank God! Something strange is going on here. The PTA reviewed that tape you got us. The Taco Bell has something called a Plan B. They've been here looking through these records, but why would they be interested in the gynecological files of the women of South Park? I'm afraid now you know too much. We have two more asking a lot of questions. Deal with them quietly. We can't let anyone find out what we were doing there. Before you kill us, tell us why. Why is Taco Bell taking the records of women's vaginas in South Park? I'm picking up some hot readings on the Peggy. Tell us, what do women's vaginas and Doritos Locos Tacos have in common? Peggy is going crazy. Oh, shit! There's an outbreak here! We have contamination in Sector 7! All units to Sector 7 now! Secure the entire building! Put that woman in restraints! Ah! What's going on? At uh, Taco Bell security. Your clinic is infected with a Nazi zombie virus. Nazi zombies? That's ridiculous! And bigoted! I happen to be German! He's one of them! Ah! Tell people what you saw here today! There's something crawling under the floor, sir!
Nobody move! Oh, uh, what's going on? I, I'm just here for an operation. <laughs> oh, there you are, Doctor. I'm ready when you are. Is this going to hurt, Doctor Teehee? There's something fishy going on here. I think they might be Nazi zombies. We'll see if you're a real doctor. Give her an abortion. Do it! Oh, goodness! He did it! All right, so he is a real doctor. What the hell? Oh shit, clear the building! The area's been compromised! Get out now! Uh, you go ahead. Might be a while before I can walk very well. Ah! Ah! What the hell is that? Mathers, where did you find the alien goo? Broken vials were in the trash can, sir. What could have come into contact with it in the trash can of an abortion clinic? Oh, my God. I'm here for you, buddy. God damn it. Look at that little fella. Are those little babies sucking blood? Or, or, or bad stuff will happen. It will be leaving. That's it! That's it! The area is secure! Code green! It's not secure! Tell all units the outbreak has been contained! It's not contained! What the hell are you talking about? It's not contained! You, you don't understand! Chloe Kardashian was in here this morning! She had the biggest abortion I've ever seen! The zombies came for the tacos, that's my theory. The girls want to thank you for your help. We can go see them again whenever you're ready. All right then, let's go. You know the drill. 
New kid, the girls are very thankful for you texting us the abortion records. We are one step away from finding out which girl among us is a two-faced bitch. Unfortunately, the record keeper at the abortion clinic is from Paris, and so everything is written in French. Whoever this two-faced skank is thinks she can outsmart us. We want to help you and the boys play your game, but we just can't have a two-faced bitch out there on the loose. Just get these documents translated for us, and we promise we will join your army. Sparkle! Sunshine! What's this? Council, gather round! This must be something the new kid needs our help with! Sank femmes ont sabi un envertement... What language is that? It's some kind of strange orcish. I've seen this language before. In the kingdom to the north. Oh, the kingdom to the north? Whatever's written on these documents is somehow the key to us recruiting the girls to our army. Is, is that what you're trying to tell us, new kid? Come on, sp spit it out. Getting that document translated isn't going to be easy. To breach the kingdom to the north, you will have to assume another identity. Your name is no longer Commander Douchebag. It is now Larry Babinski from Cleveland. The quickest way to the kingdom to the north is through the Lost Forest. Head north, then north again, north, and then north. Hi, here to get your passport photo taken? Just head into the room there and we'll get started. Step between the lights, please. That's great. Okay, smile. Oh, do you have anything else you could wear? Could you try something else on? Uh, no. Tell you what, how about just no shirt at all? Let's try that. Nope, with this light, we're just gonna need you to lose that shirt. I'm just not feeling that shirt. Yeah, that's gonna work better. Here we go. Oh, those pants don't work with the lighting. Could you roll up your pants or, you know what, just take, take the pants off too. Those pants just aren't working for me. If you want a passport, you're gonna have to lose the pants, pal. Okay, that's good, really nice. Yes, very nice. How about we lose the underwear? You sick son of a bitch! Stop him! You'll never take me alive! Oh boy, bad guys! You should be nice! Wow, good job, kid. You're quite the fighter. All right, let's get this over with. Say cheese. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. Maybe we should just stay. 
stay put and wait for someone to rescue us. Yeah, I think we should probably go that way. No, nope, you see? No matter which way you go, I block you. Ah, I see you have a passport. All right, hand it over. Papers appear to be in order. Very well. I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Open the gate! Oh, I'll do it. Hold on. There we go. Oh, hail the Prince and Princess of Canada! Sorry, Gay, I'm on duty. Well, well, what have we here? A hero from the South? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the Great Border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. How can I help you? What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. <sniffs> but I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. You know what dire wolves are, right? They're like wolves, but they're dire. Welcome to Winnipeg. This is a conservative township, so mind your P's and Q's. Do whatever you want with your T's and M's, however. Welcome to Winnipeg. This is a conservative township, so mind your P's and Q's. Do whatever you want with your T's and M's, however. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? You know what Winnipeg is known for? Uh, neither do we. This poor citizen was killed by a dire bear. You know what a dire bear is, right? It's like a bear, but it's dire. This poor citizen was killed by a dire Sorry, bear. You know what a dire bear, you know is, what a right? dire bear is. Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with dire bears? Tell you what, kill off all the dire bears in the north of town and I'll help you however I can. Let's go, dude. Mind if I update my status while we're waiting here? Now I can finally make a dire road. All right, give me that document. Mm, yes. This is actually written in the language of Eastern Canadian. The Minister of Montreal can translate it. But I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec. I will speak with the Prince. Return to him and he should let you speak with the Minister. Boy, oh boy, I will have the most dire robe in all of Canada.
there you are. I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal. I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the bishop. <gasps> kill the bishop of Banff? Shh, you, shh. Kill the bishop of Banff for me and bring me his balls as proof. Do this and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste! Uh, excuse me, is this really a good idea? Yeah! Yeah! Mess with the beast, you get the claws. Praise Christ! Praise God! Praise God and Christ! The Prince thinks Canada is a monarchy! But there's other people with opinions by God! Sorry, God. What's this? Who the fuck hits a bishop? Assassin! Thy neighbor. Remember the golden rule. He knows not what he does. Turn away, dude. I shall turn the other cheek. Next. We stand together against the darkness. Kill me. I'll go away and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine. Bless you, my son. It'll be our secret. Wow, good thing I saved these. A noble decision, Commander. I knew I was right to trust you. Praise Christ. Praise God. Praise God and Christ. Oh, these are indeed troubling times. Must we kill the Bishop of Banff? Shh, you. Killing the Shh. Bishop of... Shh, you. Is he dead? Did you kill him? Yay, the Bishop's balls! Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay you? You said you would free the Minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the Bishop and the Minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my liege, we made a promise. Shh, you. Shh. Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now! They say that the Duke earned his title by winning a log yes, roll with the last yes, I know. 
But Ottawa is clear on the other side of Canada. How are we supposed to get there? A letter from the princess? What the? Why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Only they could train you in such sorcery. Who are you? Perhaps he is the American everyone is talking about, Terrence. Nah, it can't be. He can't be a master of spellcraft. He doesn't even know magic. He probably doesn't even know how to fart. The sneaky squeaker. Very impressive. He is worthy of our training after all. Yes. Prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. Your magic is impressive, young American. Not since Eric von Thunderpants of Nova Scotia have we seen such prowess. But now, you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki! Here, watch again! Now, now, you call that a fart. You must focus harder and push harder, too. Think of your anus muscles as a puckering kiss. Pucker, pucker. Here, watch again. Now, you try. Believe in yourself. These three pedophiles from Alberta will have their way with you unless you damage them all with one move. Nagasaki! Fart on a man's balls. Bonsoir, des collections traduit. Ok. C'est là, c'est traduit par c'est là. C'est là, c'est traduit par c'est là. Voilà. Bonjour. Merci beaucoup. Ready to go back? The girls are ready to see you. See, right here it says that five women were at the clinic that day. And right there it says Nancy Turner, 3.30 p.m. That's Heidi's mom! So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch! The evidence is irrefutable. Thanks, new kid. We now know it was Heidi Turner all along who was spreading the rumors. Freaking whore! Two-faced butt rag! Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced ass! 
But Heidi's really sorry, so we're deciding to forgive her. I love you guys so much. We love you too, Heidi! Yay! 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 You served us well, new kid, so you have our services. Tell the boys we will play their game. Sparkle! Sunshine! Everyone listen up! The girls have agreed to fight by our side! Huzzah! The pirates and the Federation factions are standing by to fight as well, my lord. Then the time for talk is over. Let us all make haste to Knighthead! What we do here now will be written and sung about on YouTube for days to come. Yeah! Let us besiege the army of darkness with the courage of dragons. Let us delve their dungeon with swords and sorcery. Let us charge our shields and use photon torpedoes to vaporize the Klingons. Kevin, god damn it. Every fucking time, Kevin. God fucking damn it, seriously. I'm sorry. Armies of justice, prepare! Ready! Let's be the plan! Yeah. Let's get it! Ow! I'm hit! They... they tore my costume! I worked really hard on what? it! What? You sons of bitches are gonna get what's coming to you! Come on! Let's tear no these jerks a new asshole! Power. What? That'd just be silly! How did you Charge! ask me such incredible... You take the tower from the in... Chief Assassin, and you will all perish here and now. Douchebag, I'm stuck! Can you get me in? My three Nazi cow minions will take care of you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this shit even things up! <laughs> Douchebag! Use Nagasaki to let Ike in! Hey, no fair, guys. I can't let this thing go. Hold on. It's almost there. I should have started this sooner. You're gonna get it, Craig, you fucking traitor! Sound up, Sergeant! Ugh. Now let's see how you fare against the Dark Lord, Chief Assassin, and some cows! Why can't you just leave us alone?
there. Oh, it's my favorite kid. Listen, I found out what they were doing at the women's clinic. They were looking for a candidate to put a snook into. They're going to nuke all of South Park. A snook? You boys don't understand. They've put the snook here. Who did? Whoever these people are claiming to be Taco Bell. We should have known. We should have known Taco Bell is far too compassionate and caring to be so secretive. The quality of their character, like the quality of their food, should have never come into question. Dad, where is the woman with the snook? They didn't put it in a woman. Well, all I remember was that there were these big government guys, and they wrestled me to the floor at my house. And then I remember thinking, well, this is fun, but wait, is that a thermonuclear device? I had some drinks, so putting a thermonuclear device up my ass wasn't completely out of the question. Oh, Jesus Christ, how long do I have? We don't know, Mr. Slave, but it could be a matter of minutes. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out! No! We can't just pull it out! Snooks have triggers on them! We have to abort it! From inside! Oh, come on, who knows how to do abortions and can get really, really small? Hmm, who? Who could possibly be able to make themselves tiny and know something about abortions? Oh, hmm, let's see. Who could there be? Hmm. Oh, who could it be? I don't think. There's got to be someone. It seems like it'd be easy to find someone who could get small or could perform abortions, but both? It's on the tip of my tongue. Nope. Oh, look! He's all small! Wow, this kid is just full of surprises. Quick, get up there and disarm the snook. Hurry! Oh, be careful. I might have also put some bats up there the other night. Dude, lame. How come I have to be your buddy right now? And now we boldly go where many men have gone before. out of this place or you will surely die. The way behind you is blocked by the large sphincter. Make haste to the large intestine. All will be made clear to you then. A great adventure is waiting for you ahead. Journey onward, new kid, or you will soon be dead. What's that sticky stuff? The road ahead is full of danger and fright. But push onward, new kid, with all of your might. New kid! New kid, That's new, kid, new 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 kid, I am the Sparrow Prince. Like you, I was once used for pleasure as an anal plaything, and thus perished in this place. Now you must defeat my angry spirit in order to move forward. I know, I don't really sound that angry, but trust me, I am. Stations. He wings journeyed a distance far and fast to find his way out of a gay man's ass. The road ahead is filled with danger. Oh. Onward, enemy wings with all of your might. Fucking goddamn fuck, fuck you! Ass freezing, sick face, foreskin, fucking son of a bitch, elephant walking, dizzy tube top, fat bitch, I hate you! God damn it! You have proven yourself in combat, young anal plaything. You may journey forth. Find the snook's trigger and save the outside world. Fare thee met and fare thee well. <sighs> I didn't join the company for this. We've got our orders. Yeah, but how come we always get the shit jobs? Go clean out the barracks. Go round up civilians in their homes. Go up a gay man's butthole and guard against intruders. Fucking sucks. 
armed guards? What are they doing here? Whoever seeks to blow up the city clearly doesn't want anyone stopping them. You must get past them, new kid. Go fuck them up. Engaging hostile. Let's go, dude. Hello, new kid. I am Katata Fish. Katata Fish of the Stormex Core. The trigger of the thermonuclear device lies before you. I have tried to solve its riddle, but I have been unable to disarm it. Katata Fish riddle will soon be told. There are only moments to spare. Find a way to disengage the trigger, or all will be lost. Your w word is the command, my lord. This calls for a little bardic access. Snook abortion sequence initiated. Begin Christmas electrolytic infusion. Once a year. Every holds it Danger. Dear. Critical arterial Every rupture. Air. Check placement. Small. Ow. Christmas Jesus. Means so much. Your w word is the command, my lord. This calls for a little bardic access. Snook abortion sequence initiated. Begin Christmas electrolytic infusion. Once a year. Every critter ah. holds it dear. Every animal, big or small. Christmas means cold. so much so to cold. us all. It's Danger. Abortion year. access slit stress level. Abortion access slit dilated. Initiate control chip removal. It's once a year at Christmas time. When we hear about how Christmas only comes. Wrong once chip. Wrong chip. Ow. Not that. I needed that. Wrong chip. Self-destruction sequence aborted. What is it, Mr. Slade? What are you feeling? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Great job, new kid. But your journey is not yet complete. Yes, but should we ever need your services again, we will call. <laughs> Great job! You've disarmed the snook! South Park is saved! Yes, now let's finish this, new kid. Let's beat Clyde once and for all and take back the stick of truth! If you ever want to go back in, just ask. If you want to go take a shower and come back, we'll wait. You're a better man than I, new kid. It'll all be totally worth it when we get the stick back. If you ever want to go back in, just ask. Fools, you thought you could conquer the Fortress of Darkness. Clyde, back away from that stuff. Oh, but I have yet to complete my army. You have come to witness the power of darkness. Stop, Clyde. You have no idea what that stuff is! Yeah, huh, it's green sauce from Taco Bell. I took it from their construction site. Dude, that's not Taco Bell sauce. Then why'd I find it at the Taco Bell? It leaked out of a UFO, Clyde! It's toxic goo from another galaxy! Think about it! Since when does Taco Bell have a green sauce, dude? 
Actually, since about a year ago. What? Taco Bell has green sauce now. No way. They've had it longer than a year. I've always gotten spicy green burritos. Yeah, no, I'm saying in the packets. They just started putting green sauce in packets. The fuck? How the fuck did I miss it? Ha ha! I don't seem so foolish now, do I? That doesn't mean you have Taco Bell green sauce, dip fuck. Yeah, Clyde, why do you think that shit's glowing? Maybe because of the three varieties of chili peppers. Just give us a stick, asshole. Or what? You'll beat me up? Ha <laughs> ha! I've got another surprise for you. I'm gonna make love to you, woman. Ah! Get him, Commander Douchebag! I raised you from the dead. You have to obey. Obey me. In Ha ha Ow! I'm sorry, boys. We're gonna get you out of this, Chef. Just hold on while we kill Clyde. Everybody, I'm back! Enough of this! <laughs> Burn them! Burn them all! Your eons of torment are at an end, ruler of darkness. Uh, okay, um, you know what? I'm not playing anymore. You have broken the rules of the stick, and for that I banish thee. I banish thee from space and... That was awesome. You did it. Your noble quest is at an end. And for all your deeds and all your time put into this, I hereby promote you to King Douchebag. Congratulations. Quickly, now let's get the stick back to safety before anyone can do. We've got him. We've got the dragon board. Dragonborn? What the... What? So, it really is the Dragonborn. Just can't stop being a thorn in our side, huh? He has to stick a truth. How does this guy know you, King Douchebag? King Douchebag? Is that what you told him your name was? Why didn't you tell them your real name, Dovahkiin? You don't remember, do you? How we tried to find you? Look, that stick belongs with the fighters of Zaron. Give it back. Fighters of Zaron? Boys, what's going on here is much more complex than that. This isn't the first time a UFO has crashed to Earth. You see, in 1947, a UFO crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. Oh, God. Oh, brother, spare us. Hang on a sec. A UFO crashed in Roswell, and a new government agency was created to investigate the paranormal. Our agency. Can we skip this? Like, hit the skip button or something? Oh, you don't want to skip this. Yes, we do. Whenever aliens are spotted, vampires run amok, our agency is there, and we have never lost a fight. That is, until four years ago when we investigated a child. Yawn, yawn, yawn. A child who had an unnatural power inside him. I had orders from the president to secure the child so that we could harness his powers before our enemies could. But he slipped through our hands. The government wants the new kid for his farts? That's dumb. His farts? No! His amazing ability to make friends so quickly on any social network. Before he was five years old, he had 3.2 billion friends on Facebook alone. Do you have any idea the power that kind of gift yields in today's world? It's time to come with us, Dovahkiin. Time to stop resisting and use your gift for your country. Is he really still talking? 
Are we so different, you and I, Dovahkiin? Uh. You have to do what the government tells you to do, just like me. We're all just pawns in their game. I'll admit you are fascinating. You have more power than any child I've ever come across, and yet all you seem to really care about is this. It must be very important. What does it do? Whoever controls the state controls the universe, dumbass. Yeah, stupid. Controls the... But then... I wouldn't have to do what I was told anymore. I could... <laughs> I control the universe! Get back! Back, I say, all of you! I can do anything, anything I want! <laughs> I no longer need you, new kid! I control the universe! Ah! 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 Damn thing! How does it work? Show me how it works! Yeah, right. Dovahkiin, why should we be on the opposite sides? Join me, Dovahkiin. Rule by my side. Rule. And you can have this all to yourself forever. I can offer you all! Just get me safely out of here! You can rule with this once again! You underestimated the character of the fighters of Zaron. What binds us is more than that relic. And you failed to recognize the character of our alliance. Yes, and that friendship is more important to any of us than even the stick of truth. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> Princess Kenny! At least one of you has some sense. You'd sell us all out? But why, Princess Kenny? Because Princess Kinney was born a half-orc, whose entire village was wiped out by humans and elves. Morgan Freeman? You see, when humans and elves lived together in the forest of Hollow Falls, an elven queen fell in love with the orc known as Dandar, the first one to possess the Stick of Truth. They loved in secret and had a child. A beautiful little girl, a girl who watched as everyone she loved was killed in cold blood. And that is why she waited and plotted all this time to take the stick from you. For Princess Kinney is true heir to the stick of truth. Wow, that's pretty cool. Just one thing, Morgan Freeman. How come every time something convoluted needs explaining, you show up? Because every time I show up and explain something, I earn a freckle. Ooh, 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 ooh. Princess Kinney, come back here! Welcome. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Can I interest you in some of my wares? Give us a stick, Princess Kenny. You don't want to go down like this, Beth. Oh boy! Oh. 
Princess Kitty, you'll be invincible! Oh no you don't! Shit, I shanked it! For our soul! Princess Kenya. Whoops. Stay for a game and hide for our school. Stay for a game and hide. Yes, 
Deutschland! Oh my god! You killed Kitty! Yeah, that! Oh, no, wait, he's back! She looks more dead than she was before. You three will attack Princess Guinea. Yeah. It's time to fight it. Feel that righteous fury. For all the soul. Death comes for you, Dragonborn. You'd better pray for a miracle. Princess Kitty, do you not know that death is a servant of chaos? Mr. Sark! How can this be? By the moon and the stars in the skies, and I swear we will destroy all that chaos energy is making me a little woozy. Gentlemen's oath! Finish these weaklings, Princess Kinney! to normal. We're, we're cured! You're all better now, Daddy. That's right, son. The Dragonborn must have farted on a princess's balls. sure about this? There's no other way. It drove our friend to madness and nearly killed us all. So what do you guys want to play now? How about dinosaur hunters? Or pharaohs and mummies? Let's ask Douchebag. What do you want to play next, dude? Screw you guys. I'm going home. Wow, what a dick. <laughs> 